Well, hi, my name is Richard Singh, and I'm here representing the United States. And we are more than happy to be a part of this process of World March for Peace. As I believe um, our world is facing great turmoil as of now, Palestine, Israel, Africa, Iraq, Afghanistan. And I think this, pro this process of bringing leaders from different faiths together, it's a very unique process to give a singular message out to the world saying that you know, enough is enough. And we are here understanding each other, each other's cultures, differences, but we're putting the, all that aside for peace and justice. Thank you very much. What was so important and meaningful to me about this gathering this morning was that I had the opportunity to seek out difference and learn from difference that we are all human beings. Human beings want peace. Human beings need peace to be happy. And then the, every year I'm organizing the Universal Peace Day in August to commemorate Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And so, so the, I think uh, that message is also carried here. So that's one of the very reasons that I'd like to be part of this uh, event. And if I can help anything that I, help, I wanted to help today. So thank you so much. Hi, I'm Reverend Bob Coleman, uh, Chief Program Minister of the Riverside Church in the city of New York. It is my pleasure and my privilege to participate in this blessing of the World March for Peace and Nonviolence. And the Riverside Church is an, is an historic institution that's dedicated to peace and justice. On this very important day, I pray God Almighty to shower His grace and blessings for a very successful world march towards peace and nonviolence. And for the for the city agency that I work for and the law enforcement entity, we try our very best to really outreach to clerics and religious ladies of all faiths throughout the city and to stand united and to bring this message of peace to all wherever we all may be. The September 11th Families for Peaceful Tomorrows and families from across the world who's been affected by political violence and violence of all sorts find great comfort and promise in these events of the World March. So I'm Matt Weiner and I'm from the Interfaith Center of New York and today's service I thought it was especially beautiful for a bunch of reasons. One was we're here in New York and so we have so many different religious traditions. So we are able to have almost every religious tradition in the world represented here. Hello, my name is Masafumi Nakanishi. I'm a Shinto priest at the International Shinto Foundation. I've been here for 10 months and this is my first time to attend Interface event. I'm grateful to have been part of this ceremony today. Um, I've read recently a number of books and articles about how religion divides people. It can be poisonous, but what I witnessed here and participated in today is that another strength of our religions is that we can join together and move our people forward toward peace and harmony. And so I'm grateful to have been part of that today. And to have the peace, we must be the peace among each other. We must help each other, comfort one another, love the good of each other. Hi, uh, my name is Patricia Rios. I am a part of the community of Silos Message here in New York City. We support the World March for Peace and Nonviolence that began today, well, probably about 24 hours ago in New Zealand already. And uh, this is not a fate. This is not something I'm gonna do today and maybe not tomorrow. This is a journey for life. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nicole Myers, and um, I'm with helping to organize the World March for Peace and Nonviolence in New York. I'm with the press. I'm also one of the organizers of this interfaith blessing ceremony that took place on October 2nd as our first event for the march. Each person came with their own message, but the messages all worked together to form a beautiful tapestry of, of unity that involves almost the, the, all the religions of the world.